Right. And this was the one where you was actually pissed out your brains and tried to convince me that Pope was there. <laughs> <laughs> that was and when, he, and when he said, no, don't you starve. He said, Pope, his brother's here. And I said, are you sure? And he pointed to some random dude. Like, and I said, that's not his brother. Well, Elvis impersonation. Dan, are we supposed to be recording? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, we are. <laughs> Okay, because like we'll we actually get to record for about yeah. five minutes. Okay, yeah. So um, <laughs> playing the music. Yeah, play the music, and that'll be it. We can go. We we'll go get the raffle. Must be so. Go and win my Kindle. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 Who's? <laughs> Mine. <laughs> so, I think we should give Hello? a round of applause to my mate George, who's flown all the way from the USA just to see me. <laughs> <laughs> This man about six, seven years. IRC or email or whatever. So it's another first really this weekend. Now, <laughs> no. yeah. now don't ever fucking speak to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll play our intro music. Polka. Uh, That's like five minutes long. Japanese yeah, <laughs> polka. <laughs> Polka? Polka. <laughs> Japanese polka. Is that what our theme sounds like? No, it's yeah. Taiwanese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Do you need your glasses, Pete? I've deliberately not got them because I don't want to look uncool. The shine off his head reflecting on the screen. Really? <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Business, how to make profit from 
flatter. Yeah, flatter's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we've sat in on Lorna James, open sourcing your career. That was another good one today. The personally, I didn't enjoy the panel with the uh, uh, Cas. Is it the lady? Oh no, the panel was Karen. all right. It was Karen. 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 That was. Yes. I don't say that too loud because Dan was the one who was all right. I just switched the microphone but, off. <laughs> yeah. For me personally, I didn't enjoy it. It didn't work. I didn't like you. You know the. the Maybe it was a language barrier or things they were lost in translation for me, but it didn't, you know, for me it didn't work. In, in, uh, in what respect? Um, I found it quite negative. <laughs> Well, I find two, I personally, I find, it but I find two, you can start me off now, I, I find two of the characters on there negative. Screw so, you two. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I make no bones about it, I, I, I really disagree with the message that Simon Fitz put, puts out. I mean, I've seen a version of that talk three times, and I said this to you guys yesterday. And it, oh, and it, I, I don't know, I think, I don't so, know. I think Simon Fitz is good value for money. He always puts that in the talk. He, uh, and plus, you've got to have people like that in the community. <laughs> Uh, about. <laughs> very you far, far out. I'd <laughs> <laughs> rather sign a fist it than, you know, me. <laughs> and the panel, I think the panel, the panel was good as well, because Simon Phipps did his thing in the morning. Um, he was, you know, he's always, he's always quite vocal. And then the panel came along and he, he tried doing exactly the same thing. And uh, yeah, I think he was having, off. <laughs> well, no, he was having a conversation with Ak, wasn't he? And, uh, okay. Aki's Ak 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 my, Ak 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 my hero. Put him in his place. Aki's my a, hero. The first time I've seen Simon Fitz shut up. <laughs> <laughs> start, and start agreeing with someone. Hang on, is he here? <laughs> Simon Fitz. <laughs> <laughs> we should have worked that one out first. No, I've like, got a problem with him. I think he's I've stayed good value for now. But again, this isn't about coming and saying that talk was better, you know, for me than, um, than another talk. It's about, you know, we're all here, we've all come here to get out of it what we want to get out of it. You know, I've got all I was saying, for me personally, yeah. because actually the talk she did in the morning about the open source software with her pacemaker, yeah. that was really good, yeah. but it, for me, it didn't work with her on the panel. And maybe it was just the subject that she was talking about. Mm. Oh, small applause. Small applause then. <laughs> on, I mean, yeah. It was quite a, uh, it's a hotly debated subject as well, isn't it? the whole no, no immunity thing. So oh. they probably, probably want the best topic to speak about, maybe. But, no. you know, she was going to defend her corner. And, uh, I think the other participant was uh, playing it down. So probably a bit too much, and that's maybe what got the back up. But it was, I mean, it's, a, it's obvious to anybody that's got an interest in that topic that. You know, there is a bit of friction going on, and to play it down completely might have been, well, it might have caused a bit more friction and maybe got a backup. So, but I'd say it was good, it was that's what these panels are for, and having a bit of a debate, mm. I think. Well, I, that's what I kind of figure, yeah, back to some tips. I mean, isn't that the point of having a keynote? It's there to yeah. get people talking and interested. And so ah, whether they say it's bollocks or whether they say, oh, yeah, he's brilliant. See, it's to me, that, keynote needs thing. to set the theme. For the conference and it should be inspiring or maybe that's just the profession that I come from. I didn't that's particularly, yes, I didn't particularly right, for I, me okay, I find it inspiring. Yeah. Well I, I, I don't, but I don't find it inspiring for a totally different reason because I just, I don't think, I, I, I accept that we must be aware of potential security issues, potential risks and, and things of that nature. Um, but I don't, my personal view is, you know, he's sort of like built a career out of spreading gloom and doom. Um, yeah, yeah, and that's that's it. You can't. It can't. Never. You can't and then, and I mean, as quite a few people said, you know, it's all very good to stand up on a stage and everybody to be uh, uh, overawed by a presence and say, my goodness. <coughs> For example, you know, the man is a, you know, I like the man as a person. I think he's very intelligent. I just don't like the message he portrays. He stands up saying. You should be for freedom and open source and use as a Mac. Someone else sitting next to you, you were sitting again. Well, yeah. <laughs> it was a talk that I told him to. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I've got nothing to hide. I mean, I saw that talk at PyCon in Birmingham. Same talk, well, similar talk, um, and. 
and a lot of people here have, uh, uh, know about ACTA and three strike rules and, and all of that. And he was given the same talk there. And I took issue with him because what he was doing at that talk was he was concentrating on the three strikes. And ACTA isn't just about three strikes, it's about a lot of things. It's about counterfeit goods, counterfeit drugs, it's about a lot of stuff. And, and I did pull him up and said, Simon, look, you know, I'm not going to pee on your parade here, but you're being a bit unfair because you're talking to people who quite clearly don't know anything about ACTA. And you're only focusing on, on a small portion. You're not telling them the whole picture. And by focusing on that small portion, that wins you votes, let's say. Yeah, well, that's what his job is, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, if you if you cover the whole thing, <laughs> then you allow everybody <laughs> to make their own mind up. Yeah, see, I, I'm, not, I'm not so sure. I think with people, some people like Simon Fitz, you need to just accept that they're at the far end of the spectrum. Just let them get on with their job. Well, it sounds like some people are talking about. Let's not get into that. Oh, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe just let them get on with the job. And, uh, you know, I mean, you know, you know, you, you know that half of the stuff that he's talking about, or well, you might not agree with it all, but it doesn't really bother you, does it? No. I mean, to be fair, no. you know, Actually, he's, he's, he's given up his time and he's come along, you know, and he has supported the event, hasn't he? It's, it's really interesting, and you know, not, not for us to now have an argument, but you're sort of like defending Simon Phipps, and yet he was quite happy to run Karen down. Because you didn't like her talk. No. And she gave up her panel. time. No. Yeah, but she gave up her time and came here. The to content put her point of, the, of view across. Yeah, the content of the panel is what I was saying. Yeah. Uh, again, the content of Simon's talk didn't particularly enamor me. No. You know, but bless them, like I say, I mean, Karen's had a long way to travel. Mm. You know, so. oh, I'll, I'll defend anybody. Yeah, you're too nice. Yeah, you're too nice. Yeah. Yeah, you're too nice. <laughs> I did say that, actually. I said, that one's too nice. <laughs> <laughs> I said, it's not going to work. He's just too nice. <laughs> He's all right. He's nice. But I have a photograph. No, I mean, look. I have a photograph say. taken, so I'm fit and shook it down. <laughs> you were well impressed. Uh, yeah, I'm struck. So, in other words, you're not going to wash that hand for the next six months. Until like. the next lockout. Yeah. Oh, I could get rid of it. I'm really dirty and tell you how many times I washed my hands today, but I ain't going to. Oh, oh. You mean you counted or it's zero? No, it is counted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, particularly good coming out of the toilet. Speaking of which, my God, that bloke and that dude the other night. I walked into that pub and there was this guy and he got tattoos. And he went, oh, yeah. went copper load of this, mate. And <laughs> Leading a ring through his member, and I was like, Well, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, Oh my god, where have I come to? It's a classy pub, that one. Yeah. <laughs> it really is classy. Like, Cheers, Pope. Yes, nice people. Yeah. Yes. So. so, what should we talk about next? Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a, it's should, a, we, should we involve somebody? Yeah. Involve somebody. Well, We've got, we we've, are, got, we've got a captive audience. Do you want to ask anything? What was that? They can't escape. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what do you want to ask? Nothing there. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I do want to say. I fucking hate Zenka. Oh, God. <laughs> Is there any software that anybody hates? And I want free software. Look at that. You've got oh, your wow. Ass. <laughs> yeah, don't you ask <laughs> There must Dyer. be something, huh? Dyer. Who? Dyer. Dyer. Yeah, 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 cool, yeah, go on. Why don't you like that? No. Dyer. And this is, this is, this is the god that is Adam Sweet. The god. <laughs> 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 I am a god. The, 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 the tiny deity. <laughs> the tiny, <laughs> the tiny deity. This is the tiny arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, it's just shit, isn't it? It's yeah. the only thing I have to re boot into Windows for, so you fucking physio. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Why isn't there a decent video replacement? You would have thought. Yeah, it's mm, it doesn't really. Don't say Inkscape, <laughs> Fable Lyncher. <laughs> no, no, he's saying it's a good thing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Inkscape is good, but it doesn't oh, really it's do good. diagrams. No, well, the thing is, it's a good tool, but to do network diagrams and so on, you need yeah. templates of yeah. like booking routers and yeah. switches and servers. There's a lot of silence because somebody else. <laughs> no, it's called agreeing with with your yeah, audience. No hearing. I don't care. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm done now. Yeah. I'm burnt out already. <laughs> so it, there isn't an alternative to Visio. No, I've got to find a good one. Either. Not a good, good alternative to Visio. So why aren't we building one? Because there's why good aren't attempts. Why building one? Three minutes. No. 
<laughs> good luck with that. Good luck with that. Aye, you know, we lost 15 minutes setting up. Aye. Yeah, well, why, no. Yeah, why aren't we building Why aren't we building Why, why, why isn't there? <laughs> yeah. Here he's gone. Why, you know, Vizio is close to it's Microsoft product. If Dyer is obviously shit if anyone's used it. Apparently there isn't an interest because somebody would have done it. Maybe there is a bit of shit. Someone Go on. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's quick for you to pen it. Somebody else has to. <laughs> 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 you can't see. 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 Do you know, I've heard this argument before, and I, and I really hate that argument. I really do. Um, because... You've had enough now. Yeah, you have. <laughs> <laughs> I, under, I understand that argument of, you know, developers write applications for themselves. And that's, that's all that's one and good. But, uh, but at the end of the day, you know, that, that's being written for an audience. Um, and like anything else, um, you know, if people didn't want to come to OpCam, would it be no more OpCam? Um, and so I think really we should start to, to cater for that audience. Um, and so, as Adam said, if there, I mean, think of think of the applications that can be used for for Dyer uh, in in the business environment. I mean, it's it's huge, and that could help us take off. I don't think um, you know something like Firefox is going to uh, help promote Linux, although it, it does. I mean, that's probably a bad. I'm trying to think. think of something if, if the need was really that big. Someone would have, you know, improved on it, by now, wouldn't it? I think the problem in the case of Dyer is it's just a fucking hassle to make thousands and thousands of little icons for different devices. Yeah. But aren't they the, 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 are, the icons that are in Visio, though, aren't they on a fairly permissive license? Because you have to because use them in Microsoft. Visio. Come on. <laughs> well, there's a lot of Visio templates made by the hardware manufacturers. Yeah, and you can't get those Dyer. I've no idea if you can afford <laughs> It's uh, not happening. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can turn them over as much as you like, it ain't happening. I think I saw that act as an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was someone, um, they wrote a, they attempted to write a Visio replacement, they got started with it, and then everyone was really nasty about them, and so they stopped. Oh, that's, that's they, that's they, they, were, they were called Dyer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about right. Oh. The, the, the point here is exactly that, yeah, Dyer is quite Dyer. <laughs> what happens is people don't say, oh, we must fix this. What they say is, it is bugs. And so the dire people went, you know, maybe I can't be bothered with this anymore. Yeah, yeah. So that's what we need. We need people to contribute. No, what you need is to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs>
Yeah. 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 <laughs> Listen, do you remember my apology? No, I suppose a bit of apology. Yeah. Right. Um, so we uh, yeah, we'd like to thank Popey and well, basically everybody, everybody for uh, allowing us to do this. We didn't plan to do it, so we'd like to say thank you very much. And you guys for coming and sitting and listening. Oh, yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.